Welcome to Hyperphysics. In this video, I'll be discussing the CSIR June 2020 questions that happened today on November 19th, 2020. So let's get started into the video. Okay, we have the questions here. The first question is like this, in a LCR circuit, the current will flow through the resistance R. Uh, it was given four options. Uh, so basically the current uh, will only flow, flow through the resistance at, uh, at the resonance condition. At resonance, at resonance, the uh, impedance Z will be uh, R square plus XL minus XC, the whole square. And at resonance, at resonance xl equal to xc which will give you the the condition that uh, omega square that is the frequency will be equal to 1 by lc so omega square equal to 1 by lc is the correct answer for uh, first question uh, now you can see the second question the charge config configuration in a triangle equilateral triangle so the question were asked uh, to find the, the ratio of q by q uh, capital Q by small q. The capital Q is uh, at the center of the triangle, and this is a very basic question. See if you uh, basic question, as uh, you can see that uh, by drawing the appropriate forces on this particular uh, particular uh, charge minus capital Q, uh, and equating all the the resultant forces, you will get the answer as one by one by root three. The Q by Q that is equal to minus one or one by root three. Uh, so that is the correct answer for option uh, the, uh, for uh, question 2. And we have the another question uh, from magnetostatics. Three infinite long conductors are placed along the plane with the same current I. So we have to find the equilibrium point of the particular system in the plane. So what we have to do is uh, do the same thing as before. As we have to put some X, uh, find a point X from the middle uh, middle uh, conductor and uh, appropriately you can see this is uh, some dis these are separated by a distance d which is uh, which is which is not mentioned in the question so it is you can see that from for this conductor this is d plus x and for this one is d minus x so what we have to do is uh, find the net force that will be f1 plus f2 f1 plus f2 and uh, uh, if you are uh, calculating the uh, the equilibrium force for this particular system using this method you will get the uh, equilibrium distance d is equal to plus or minus 1 by the sorry it's uh, the equilibrium distance x equal to plus or minus d by root 3 this will be the correct answer for the question third for this infinite long conductors in magnetostatic question so you can see the next question, the eigenvalues of a matrix. You have to find the eigenvalues of the matrix A square, uh, this particular uh, matrix A. Okay, so you can see that uh, from the uh, from the options, I have given the options here. Uh, the options, it says that you can already see that the eigenvalues should be the, the sum, sum of all the, uh, sum of the, the diagonal uh, values, that is A square plus B square plus C square. But you can see, it's already here uh, but uh, but the thing is you can't uh, if you find the derivative also uh, this this is lambda 1 plus lambda 2 plus lambda 3 this is the trace of the matrix it will be a square plus b square plus c square and uh, if you find the determinant of this particular matrix uh, a you will get it, get it as 0 so this will give you the idea that there is one zero in the particular option and this will give you the idea that this is the uh, particular uh, sum of the all the uh, eigenvalues but still you can't find the uh, correct option because all the options have uh, a square plus b square and c square is there so if you add all these things uh, you can see that this uh, sum is a square plus b square plus c square and the determinant is zero because there is every all on all the options you can see there is one zero at least one zero is there but uh, the trick is that uh, if you see the first option if you keep like this a square a b and a c like this and if you 
uh, if you see the se the second row and the third row second row is just b by uh, b by a times the first row r1 and this is just c by a uh, times the uh, first uh, first row r1 so that means uh, these two are linearly dependent uh, dependent rows so as there are two linearly dependent rows in this particular thing uh, we can say that there are two zeros for the eigenvalue so option a is the correct answer a square plus b square plus c square and zero zero is the correct answer so uh, in quantum mechanics part uh, a question was given in from quantum harmonic oscillator the state is given psi of zero as one by root two zero plus one by root two one you have to find the time in which the the psi naught will completely change to psi psi of t. So the time uh, he has a general formula that is pi h cross by delta e is the general formula for this particular one where pi h cross uh, delta e is this is e0 and this is e1 uh, this is e0 and e1 so we have to find e1 minus e0 that is pi h cross divided by uh, e1 is uh, 3 by 2 3 by 2 h cross omega and uh, the zero state that is the, is the e zero that will be half h cut omega so you will get the answer as pi h cross by h cross omega or it's pi by omega so the time is pi by omega for this particular question okay so let's go back to the next question and you can see this is from my electrodynamics question part so you have given the electric field x y z and you have to find the direction we are asked to find the direction of this particular E0 uh, and uh, and uh, the you can see that this E0 is uh, is a vector quantity so you have to find the direction of this vector quantity as per the question and you can see here uh, the k the propagation vector k is in the form k is in the form 2xi plus 3yj or just 2i plus 3j uh, in a normal k, k cap notation I'm writing like this so basically what you need to find is uh, uh, you have to find the option in which you have to check the condition where k cap dot e uh, e cap should be equal to 0 because k cap and uh, this polar this is a polarization vector of the electric field this is a polarization vector or the electric field so the the propagation direction as in the the polarization direction should be perpendicular to each other so in that option you can see there is something like one i minus 2 by 3 j was the correct answer for this particular question if you multiply like this you can see it's uh, 2 minus 2 that will be equal to 0 so this is this was the uh, correct option uh, for the direction of e0 in the particular uh, question in the electrodynamics so next question was from mathematical physics uh, the integral i is given and using trapezoid rule we have to find the particular value a here uh, the equation was like this uh, i is um, uh, h by 2 into y0 plus yn plus 2 into y1 plus y2 here uh, this is y0 this is yn this is uh, this is y1 and y this is y2 okay and uh, we after solving this uh, we'll get the answer as 3 by 4 uh, a is equal to 3 by 4 okay next question is from quantum mechanics itself uh, uh, one dimensional potential well the perturbation you can see is h prime is given like this a uh, form of a delta function and we have to find the ground state energy and the first excited state energy of this particular system so generally uh, the the perturbation of the first order correction will be psi zero h prime psi zero uh, in this case it's it will be 2 by a uh, sine square pi x by a for the ground state i'm writing pi x by a into delta of this is from 0 to a delta of x minus a by 2 dx that will be equal to as uh, this will be 2 by a into uh, there is epsilon is there epsilon uh, and this will be sine square pi by 2 so this will be equal to 2 epsilon by a for the ground state uh, energy of the uh, one dimension potential well 
and for the second case I am writing this 2 here the first order connection will be 2 by a sin square 2 pi by 2 pi x by a into epsilon delta x minus a by 2 this will lead to uh, no answer 0 so the answers will be 2 epsilon by a and 0 these were the correct answer for this particular question okay so next was from uh, next question was from uh, statistical mechanics and uh, it was given the Hamiltonian and we need to find the internal energy of the system and we know that uh, by equipartition theorem I have already discussed in my previous video the same question they have asked in this question in the CSIR examination so you can see that the Hamiltonian p square by 2m plus lambda by 4 x raised to 4 so the average energy will be from the p square by 2m you will have half kbt energy and from this x, ray, x raised to 4 term you have a 1 by 4 kbt from the generalized partition function you can check that in my previous video and you will get the energy as uh, 3 by 4 kbt so this will be the answer for this particular question and uh, uh, like pre like in the previous question for csir uh, we have the same question same similar kind of question uh, this time also from the nuclear physics and uh, it was given like a, a, a4 by a3 is equal to so approximately 30 i am not sure uh, it's a4 by a3 or a3 by a4 uh, and we have to find the z for z is the atomic number for the most stable isobar so it was given the eb was given like this and we need to find de by dz equal to c equated to zero and we need to find the uh, z uh, it was coming around 30 a by uh, a 30 plus a raised to 2 by 3 this was the answer i was getting uh, while doing the question uh, if you if there is any mistake please let me know in the comments okay uh, next question is from the black body radiation and two black bodies where a and b are given at a temperature 600 kelvin and 300 kelvin and the surface area of a is twice that of a uh, surface area of b we need to find the uh, the power the ratio of power so the uh, equation is uh, sigma a sigma a epsilon t raised to 4 so pa by pb will be equal to a a area of a divided by area of b into t1 by t2 ta by tb all raised to 4 that will be 2 into 2 raised to 4 that will be equal to 32 so pa by pb will be uh, equal to 32 for this particular question okay so next question is uh, from uh, quantum mechanics itself you have a uh, have a potential v equal to half k x square plus 2 k x y plus half k y square so the question was like this can be decomposed into two individual harmonic oscillator potentials like x this uh, this is a tra this is a transformation a transforming matrix x prime y prime is equal to s into x y so you need to find the uh, transformation matrix here so in order to do that um, uh, what i did was uh, you can use this normal coordinate if you try with the normal coordinate x prime is equal to uh, uh, sorry yeah uh, x equal to x prime plus y prime by root 2 and uh, uh, y equal to x prime minus y prime by root 2 or the other way you can see that you will get an option like this uh, this transformation this is just a normal coordinate transformation this is uh, this is in the form of normal coordinates normal coordinates this can be also taken as uh, x equal to x prime minus plus or minus i am writing like this uh, because it's up to the options that we can uh, find in the particular question so the answer was 1 by root 2 minus 1 by root 2 uh, 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 was the answer i was getting so if there is any uh, controversy in the particular question please let me know in the comments so i'll be posting more and more questions um, according to the questions i'm getting uh, as far as i got the questions uh, from my examination i have posted uh, mostly all the questions that i know so uh, so stay tuned thank you everyone thank you for watching